Good day, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equations? X plus Y equals 24. XY equals 48. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let's provide solution to X and Y from equation 1. We have X plus y equals 24. So I want to get x in this equation as the first solution. What I will do is I will take x to other side and here we have y equals 24 minus x. This forms a new equation and I will call this equation 3. Then from equation 2 which is xy equals 48 then anywhere we see y in this equation 2 we replace it with 24 minus x so by doing that we are going to have x bracket 24 minus x equals 48 and by expanding this with x, we have x multiplied by 24. That gives us 24x minus x multiplied by x. That gives us x squared equals 48. And from here, we are going to do the arrangement of this. Let's start with x squared. We have minus x squared. Then this comes as plus 24x and let's take this 48 to this side as well to group all of them in one side here is minus 48 equals 0 and in the next step we are going to have to multiply all this by negative so minus times minus that is plus x squared and minus times plus we have it as minus 24x minus times minus that is plus 48 equals zero this forms a quadratic equation but looking at this 48 we don't have an exact number that we are going to look for and it will give us minus 24 suppose we choose 12 and 2 it does not give us 24 if we choose uh, 12 and 4 it will not give us 24 so therefore, we are going to use another method and we call it completing the square method. So what we do is, let's divide this 24 by 2. We get it as 12. Then we take the square of 12 and add it and subtract it from here. And this implies that we have x squared minus 24x then plus 12 squared minus 12 squared plus 48 equals 0. So this is still the same thing. It's just the manipulation of minus 12 squared and plus 12 squared. Then let's group x squared minus 24x plus 12 squared. And by grouping that we have x squared minus 24x plus 12 squared all in bracket minus 12 squared is 144 plus 48 equals 0 and the next step we are going to rewrite this as we have this as squared this is also taking squared and this is minus this is plus so we go with negative so negative take the highest priority here and we have x instead of squared we have it as x minus 12 then raised to power 2 minus 144 plus 48 we get 96 equals 0 and then we proceed so we proceed we have x minus 12 all squared equals 96 and we are going to write it as x minus 12 raised to power 2 equals 96 in the next step, we have x minus 12 
all squared equals 96 we write 96 as 16 multiplied by 6 that is 96 and 16 here is a perfect squared and why 6 is not by taking the square root of both sides we have the square root of x minus 12 squared equals the plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by 6. For square root and square cancelled, and we have x minus 12 equals plus or minus. This is rule of sort. We separate this 16 and 6 by separate root. Here is root 16 multiplied by root 6 and root 16 here is a perfect square which is 4 here we have x minus 12 equals plus or minus square root of 16 that gives us 4 then multiply by square root of 6 so since we have to find the value of x and this is x minus 12 we are going to take 12 to other side as we have x equals when this negative is coming it changes to plus and here gives us plus or minus for the square root of 6 there are two values of x as we are going to have our x1 equals 12 plus 4 root 6 and we also have x2 equals 12 minus 4 root 6 these are the two values of x that we have and to get the value of y we are going to recall from where we make y the subject of the formula in equation one so by recalling that we have y equals so we have it as 24 minus x and let's start with x1 by substituting x1 here if x1 equals 12 plus 4 root 6 we replace it in this we have y1 equals 24 minus open bracket 12 plus 4 root 6 and then we open this with negative we have 24 minus 12 minus 4 root 6 so therefore the value of y1 it gives us 24 minus 12 that is 12 minus 4 root 6 and also we also try the y2 by replacing x with 12 minus 4 root 6 again let's substitute x2 here we have y equals 12 minus open bracket 12 minus 4 root 6 by expanding this we have y equals so we have y equals 12 here this is 24 this is 24 we have 24 minus 12 plus 4 root 6 and this gives us y equals 12 plus 4 root 6. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.